Hi guys and welcome. I'm uh, here to discuss how you would find centerline. Basically a simple method for all you users that are having a tough time trying to find it. So to start off we have a rectangular building here with the dimensions 80,400 millimeters by 36,200 millimeters. In Canada we order concrete by meters cubed so I'm going to be teaching you in metric. So we're going to start off with a simple foundation. The foundation walls have a 200 millimeter wall thickness. So if you had a big building you would and different size wall thicknesses, you would cut you would cut the foundation in a way that you can measure each individual wall section based on its thickness and height. So since this foundation is all the same size, we're gonna focus on finding a quick method to basically help you find the volume. Depending if you you can use the center line if you're finding the footing volume, the foundation volume. You can use center line in various different applications, but we're going to start by finding the exterior perimeter. This will help us find the center line. So we're going to start by writing down 80,400 by 36,200. Add those two together and you get one sixteen six hundred. You're gonna times that by two, you're gonna total that up, and you get two thirty three two hundred. Okay, so now that we have that length. We want to find the center of the wall because that will help us find the volume because if we use this number we're going to have too much concrete. So what we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to take 233, 200, subtract 4 because we, we would have 4 corners in total, 4 times the wall thickness which is 200, and we're going to get a number. Yeah, 232, 400. This is our center line that we can use for the footing and for the foundation wall. But to simplify how the center line basically works is if you were to cut this building and like I said in all these different numbers, you would take 80,000 because 84, 400 minus 200 minus 200, 80,000 times two is 160,000. Then you would add the 36,200, 2 times 36,200, and voila, you have your 232,400, which was your center line. This can work, there's always going to be four corners, so don't stress that there might be six corners, eight corners, blah, 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 because if you were to draw your building like this, a very confusing type thing, just remember, draw your corners, one, two, three, four, because on all of these, there will always be an inside corner for an outside corner, which means they cancel each other, so cancel, 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 cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. Always going to cancel out and even out, which means there will always be four corners.